In this video, you are going to learn about the ATEM video switchers by Blackmagic Design. I'm gonna show you how you can leverage the power of the ATEM video switchers so you can capture a multi-camera recording of your worship services ahead of time to publish later, or you can actually leverage them for your live streaming setup as well. First, I wanna walk you through the essential gear and software you're gonna need, and I'll give some specific recommendations based on your church's size as well as your specific production goals. And then I'm gonna demo all this gear and software for you right here in my studio so you can get an idea of what the end product will look like and how this all works. My goal is to really demystify the world of A10 video switchers so you can have confidence and clarity when you go about building the system for your church. My name is Jake Goslin with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry. All the gear and software I mentioned in this video will be linked below in the description and be sure to download our worship ministry toolkit so you can have one convenient place to explore all of our gear and software recommendations for modern worship ministry. So if you've come across this video, chances are you are looking to really up your game when it comes to video production for your worship ministry. This may be for pre-recording your worship services or maybe even doing a true live stream. Either way, you're gonna have to develop a more robust, reliable, and advanced way of capturing multiple camera angles and your presentation software and your mixed audio and then combining it into one final product known as the program feed that you can then publish on your online platforms or you can just stream in real time for your congregation. My favorite tool for combining multiple camera video sources in your audio and your presentation software is the ATEM switchers by Blackmagic. And you may be wondering, well, why do we even need a video switcher? I already have software like Ecamm Live or vMix, and those pieces of streaming software can actually take in multiple camera inputs into the computer. The primary reason you would want to get a dedicated video switcher is when you start adding more than two or three video camera angles and you need to delegate all of that processing power to a device that's external to the computer running your streaming software. Because often what happens when you start adding in a bunch of video sources into your streaming software like Ecamm or vMix is that your computer will really start to get bogged down trying to process and cut all of that video. So that's why it's much more common in larger video production situations, whether that's a TV studio or maybe maybe even the way that Bethel Music produces their videos uh, for their stream and for their YouTube channel, it's much more common to use a more professional and robust and reliable solution like an ATEM switcher. Because all of that work that's done to process and cut all those different video feeds, whether it's from cameras or ProPresenter um, or anything else, that is done within this device external to your primary computer that may be controlling this device or running your streaming software. So if you're really looking to up your game video production wise and if you're wanting to implement you know three four five six or more video cameras in your worship space you're gonna want to get a video switcher like this one or some of the other ones I'll be recommending later on it's also worth noting too that these video switchers even come in handy if you just pre-record your worship services it will save a ton of time in editing let's say you have three cameras recording your worship band and you're just recording to the SD cards within those cameras. Well, that's going to create quite a bit of work in post-production where you're actually going to have to go through, sync up all the camera angles, and make your cuts within your video editing software. But with a video switcher like this, all of it is going to be done in real time as you record. You can either automate the switching like I do with Ableton Live, or you can have someone manually operating the switching as well. Perhaps it needs to be synced up with your mixed audio, or you can actually send your mixed audio for your live stream into the ATEM directly, and then at the end of your recording session, you'll have virtually no work left besides just sending it to the web. So those are the two primary advantages for getting a dedicated video
Studio switcher. It's going to save you a ton of time when it comes to your workflow, and it's also gonna ease up the amount of processing that's required on your computer running your streaming software. Now let's talk about the different types of ATEM switchers that Blackmagic has available. When you go to their website, you can go to the products page, and then you're gonna go to ATEM Live Production Switchers here, and then it's a bit overwhelming kind of navigating this, this big list of devices and knowing which one is right for your worship ministry. So what I would like to do is walk you through my favorite recommendations, whether you're a, you're a smaller church just getting started with multi-camera uh, video setups, or if you're even a larger church wanting a more robust and 4K setup. My first recommendation for ATEM switching for churches is the ATEM Mini Pro. This is ideal for smaller setups with two to three camera angles and maybe just a pro presenter feed or some other feed coming from presentation software. What I love about this little video switcher is not only its portability, but they've really packed a lot of amazing features into this. One thing this switcher has that a larger switcher like the Television Studio HD doesn't have is it has built-in recording and built-in streaming capability. I wish we had this on the larger switchers, but um, they're really considering you know, the ideal workflows. You know, If you have a bigger switcher like this, you probably are gonna have a separate software encoder and um, a separate way to also record your program feed. For the A10 Mini Pro though, they wanted to pack all this into one unit and it makes it really powerful and really intuitive to use. The only downside of the A10 Mini Pro is that you only have up to four HDMI inputs. So for a church situation, you can have, you know, two, three camera angles at most, and then you're gonna have um, another angle for your pro presenter feed. So you're really limited on how big your multi-camera production system can grow when you're using a switcher like the A10 Mini Pro. But if you're okay with those limitations, if you really only need one or two camera angles and the ability to add in your presentation software and audio from your mixing console, then I would check out the A10 Mini Pro. My next recommendation, and this is the switcher I have right here, is the A10 Television Studio. Studio HD. This is ideal for larger multi-cam setups with maybe four to six camera angles and a presentation software feed. So I think this switcher really gives you a great value for the price and it's gonna be a great fit for a lot of the maybe mid-sized churches that wanna have just more camera angles to be able to work with um, because you have four SDI inputs on the back of this as well as four HDMI inputs. Then my next recommendation is the ATEM Production Studio 4K. This is similar to the Television Studio HD, but basically it has 4K capability. So again, it's ideal for around four to six camera angles with your presentation software. And I honestly want to get my hands on one of these guys really soon. The Television Studio HD is great, and most of our uh, publishing that we do is in 1080p HD, especially for our church live streams. But here at Churchfront, I would prefer that I could actually do the, our productions all in 4K. Um, so the video you're watching now, it's coming through this Television Studio HD. That's why it's only in 1080p. But if we had this guy, we could do the same thing in 4K. And then my final recommendation is the A10 ME series. And this is for even larger multi-cam setups with 10 plus camera angles and presentation software. And if you need 4K capability as well, but it's gonna cost quite a bit more. But for most churches, my final recommendation is to go either with the A10 Mini Pro, the Television Studio HD, or the A10 Production Studio 4K. Either one of those three options should be a great setup for your church. Next, I want to walk you through how you actually go about controlling these ATEM switchers. Well, when you purchase a switcher, you're then going to go to Blackmagic's website and download the ATEM control software that runs on Mac or PC. And what's great about this software is that it requires little processing power because, again, all of this video processing is being done on the switching hardware itself, not on your computer. But you're going to connect your computer to the ATEM over a local area network via Ethernet. And that's how, for example, if you look at my computer right now, this I have the ATEM software control app running, and that's how I'm able to make cuts in this video feed. So I can switch from camera one to camera two 
back to camera one. And some of the video switchers that you can purchase come with the control hardware as well. So right here you can see the television studio that actually has the, the console and control interface right there. On the back of it's all your inputs and outputs. Um, so you could get one of those if you really want to have a piece of hardware for your video switching operator to run. I also wanted to make note of the type of cameras you can use with the ATEM switchers. Really any camera that has an HDMI or SDI output Put, you can send their video feed into this switcher. The cameras don't have to be the same exact make or model, but they do need to be outputting the same frame rate of video or else you're just not gonna see it as a source. It's gonna show up uh, black within the camera angle here on the multi-viewer. Some of my favorite cameras to use with the switcher would be the cameras made by Blackmagic Design themselves, like the pocket cinema cameras or their uh, studio cameras that they have available. Or you could also use the Panasonic line of cameras like the G. GH5, which I have for my main camera here, and then the GH4, which is the camera pointing at the switchers right down here. You could also use some PTZ optics cameras, so long as you have the kind that have the SDI or HDMI outputs that will be running into the switcher. Or you could use a typical camcorder, whether it's a entry level one for a couple hundred dollars or a more prosumer camcorder for a couple thousand dollars. And there's one key thing that you have to have right when you're setting up various cameras with your ATEM switcher, and that is you have to smash the like button on this video. Just kidding, but it would be greatly appreciated if you smash the like button on this video if it's been helpful to you thus far. So there are lots of different cameras you can use with these switchers. Just make sure that the switcher and the cameras are all using the same frame rate. So in my scenario right now, everything is at 24 frames per second. The next gear recommendation I have is a video capture card or video capture device. And this is gonna be for your computer that's going to be capturing the program feed from your video switcher. So the program feed is the final product of video that your audience is gonna see. So that's the top right of our multi-viewer there. That's what you're seeing right now as you're watching this video. So you wanna have some sort of video capture device to capture the program feed from your switcher and you could put it into your streaming software. Um, you can just record it now and publish later, or you could actually stream it online in real time. The other reason you want this video card is for outputting your video from software like ProPresenter to your video switcher. So let me kind of walk you through what I have set up here right now. So on this computer, I've got both ProPresenter running and I have Ecamm Live running. So Ecamm Live is recording our program feed. That's how you guys are watching this video right now. Um, and then ProPresenter is outputting our lyrics to the ATEM. So what this allows me to do is I can make this video connection from my computer running ProPresenter and Ecamm Live. I can make the connection between the computer and my ATEM without needing to have a bunch of HDMI dongles on my laptop. Instead, I have my one Thunderbolt cable here that connects to my expansion chassis here. It's the Sonnet. Uh, Echo Express expansion chassis. Um, and then in that expansion chassis, we have the DeckLink Duo card and that's making all the video connections. And what I love about the DeckLink Duo is that it can both capture video to send into this computer and then it can also send video out of this computer. So we're using the output mode for ProPresenter and we're using the input mode capturing uh, feature for our streaming software. So here's a big picture view of the ideal setup when you're implementing an ATEM switcher into your video production workflow. On the left here, we have all of our cameras. So let's say these cameras are on different locations of our sanctuary. I have four different cameras. And then we also have a pro presenter. So this is running on our, our tech ministry computer that we have in our tech booth. And then we have our broadcast mix. So you may be mixing um, on a mixing console like the X32. You may be mixing down in a DAW like Ableton or Pro Tools. Either way, you're gonna have to have some sort of audio source. And these ATEM switchers, well, specifically this model has has two XLR inputs. Um, you'll have to look into the A10 Mini Pro. You'll probably have to get some adapters to go from your mixing console into that. Um, but the larger switchers have XLR audio inputs. And then within the A10 switcher, you'll combine your mixed audio as well as your Pro Presenter lyrics and all your different video camera angles uh, into one final program feed here. And as I already mentioned, the way you're controlling the switcher is with the A10 control software up here, or maybe you have a video switcher that has the 
hardware built into it. And then on the right side of this diagram, uh, these arrows symbolize your program feed and really two alternative routes for your program feed. So let's look at this top setup right here. Um, this could be a scenario where you're sending your program feed to the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, also made by Blackmagic, and then you send that program feed into Ecamm Live where you can then stream it online, whether you're going straight to Facebook or YouTube or maybe you use Restream, um, and then your audience will be able to view it on those various platforms. A more robust setup is to use an additional software encoder like this Ray encoder by Living as One. So I'll take my program feed from my video switcher and then it's gonna be sent to the Ray encoder and then from the Ray encoder to the Living as One CDN and then into the different social platforms for our audience. So you don't have to do both of these setups. You're gonna pick one or the other. The top one is a more affordable beginner way of getting your, sh your stream online and then the bottom one is a more expensive, more reliable professional way of getting your stream online. So now that you have a clear picture of how all these different pieces of gear and software come together, I wanted to actually give you a demo of what I have set up here in my studio. So as I already mentioned, I have a few apps running on this laptop. I've got the ATEM control software and I've got ProPresenter sending lyrics to the ATEM's video switcher. And then I have Ecamm Live, which is actually recording the video you're watching now. Um, and this is our final program output. And then on this flat screen TV next to me is our multi-view. What's really cool about these uh, ATEM switchers is that they have a multi-view output. This is a HDMI output and it's going from the back of the switcher out of the multi-view port into this TV here. And now I can see all of the angles simultaneously. And this is really crucial for anybody who is running your video switching uh, live in the moment for them to make sure that they're cutting to the right angle. So I'll put my program output from Ecamm on the top right of my computer screen here. So watch what happens when I go ahead and select camera two, it's gonna switch to uh, this second camera angle here that's pointing at our video switchers. And then I'll go ahead and go back to camera one. And let's say we want to add in our lower thirds lyrics from ProPresenter. Well, as I already mentioned, I have a screen set up in ProPresenter that's gonna be sending an output um, through the deck link. So if I go to configure screens in ProPresenter, you're gonna see my stream screen that I made under the audience section here. It's just going out deck link duo one right now at 1080p 24. And then out of the SDI port on the deck link, it's going into the SDI input labeled camera five on the back of my ATEM switcher. So when I go to my ATEM switcher and if I select camera five up here, now we can see, well, all you can see are the lower thirds lyrics with a black background, but we don't want that to, to look that way for our final program output because then you won't be able to see me, the primary subject of this video. So that's why we have to use what's called keying within the ATEM video switcher. And this is a really cool feature. This is how we're gonna make the background of that ProPresenter feed transparent. So then what I did is I went into palettes in the ATEM software control. I went to upstream key one, and then I've set my fill source and my key source under the Luma key for camera five. And then I enabled key one right here, and then I'm gonna hit on air, and now you can see my lower thirds lyrics at the bottom of the screen. And down here under the pre-multiplied key settings, I can adjust the Luma key so it knows, you know, what the black portions of the picture are that it needs to remove. And I can also adjust the overall brightness of it. So I cranked gain all the way up to 100%. And then I adjusted the clip to be right about there so then it removes the black background. So if I go down here, I can select the transition style as mix and it's gonna cross fade those video changes. Um, or I can switch to wipe and it's gonna do some funny shape <laughs> fades. A lot of those are just kind of gimmicky. I think for most multi-camera video production switching that you're gonna do for your church, it's gonna be just simple cuts or maybe some slight crossfades. And the ATEM software also has a audio mixer built into it, so you can actually mix audio from each individual camera if you'd want, but that's just gonna sound horrible. Like the, the audio you see coming in here is actually the audio from the built-in microphones on the camera. As I already mentioned, ideally you're gonna use the XLR inputs on the back of this video switcher, and you're gonna have a mix bus or master 
your mix sent from your digital mixing console at your church. It's gonna go in here, it's gonna show up on this XLR fader right here, and that's how your audio is gonna be combined with your program feed so your audience can both see what's going on and they can hear uh, the hopefully professionally mixed audio as well. Another thing that's really cool about the ATEM software control is that if you are using Blackmagic cameras, you can actually control the camera settings from this software. So this is awesome so that you wouldn't have to be, you know, jumping around at each camera or need an operator at each camera, but you can adjust the color, the exposure, all those different different settings from within um, the ATEM software control. And then if you really don't have any other camera operators for panning, tilting, and zooming, then maybe that's when you'd want to get the uh, PTZ optics cameras and you could use their remote control software in conjunction with the ATEM software control app. So I hope by now you have a much clearer picture of how you can leverage the power of ATEM video switchers for your worship ministry. This will save you time and it's gonna look great whether you are pre-recording your services or you are doing a true live stream on Sundays. As I already mentioned, make sure you check out the description of this video for links to all of the gear and software mentioned here. If you would like our team's help at building the right worship tech infrastructure for your church, then check out worshipministryschool.com. We cover the pastoral aspects of worship ministry, the administrative and planning aspects, building a team, and of course, we dive deep into technology. So check out worshipministryschool.com and apply to join today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button as it will help the YouTube algorithm and it will help this video reach more church leaders. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry.